Welcome to the W3 Schools CSS Margin Tutorial. The CSS Margin properties define the space around elements. Let's look at an example. The margin clears an area around an element. Here we have one P element with the set margin and one without. The margin area is transparent and the top, bottom, right and left margin can be changed independently using separate properties. Let's set the top margin to 10 pixels using the margin top property. And the right margin to 50 pixels using the margin right property. And the bottom margin using the margin bottom property to 80 pixels. And the left margin using the margin left property to 120 pixels. You can set the margin with a fixed value like PT or pixels or EM or you can use a percent value. If you use a percent value it's percent of the containing element. It's also possible to use negative values but this can cause elements to overlap or move elements outside of the document. Now these two elements overlap. Let's add another paragraph without a margin so we can demonstrate margins for all sides a bit better. It's also possible to set a shorthand property to set the margin for all sides at once. The shorthand property for margin is simply margin. I'll set the margin to 50 pixels and the element has a 50 pixel margin at all sides. If we set the margin to 10 pixels space 50 pixels, the top and bottom margin is 10 pixels and the right and left margin is 50 pixels. If we set the margin to 10 pixels, 50 pixels, 80 pixels, the top margin is 10 pixels, the right margin and left margin are 50 pixels and the bottom margin is 80 pixels. If we set the margin to 10 pixels, 50 pixels, 80 pixels, 120 pixels, The top margin is 10 pixels, the right margin is 50 pixels, the bottom margin is 80 pixels, and the left margin is 120 pixels. So you can see that the values are set clockwise, starting at the top. On the W3 Schools tutorial page, there are more examples, and we list all the CSS margin properties. And there's a link for each property that goes to our CSS reference where you can find more information for any CSS property. And this concludes our tutorial for CSS margin. Thank you for watching.